What's up, guys? As an R here. So in this episode, uh, I wanted to just go over a couple basic uh, ideas and tips for you guys if you wanted to start getting into um, trading uh, or investing, rather. As some of you probably know, I, I'm invested in crypto myself, and um, I've been involved with uh, crypto. Well, my first few cryptos I got in 2013, my first few Bitcoins, but I no longer have those Bitcoins, so let's not talk about those Bitcoins. But uh, I, I've been watching the market since about 2015, 2016, and been in and out involved in crypto. Um, so I have a few basic tips that I'd like to share with you guys. Um, the first one is pretty much, uh, please don't rush into things. If you want to get involved in investing with either stocks or crypto or you want to do crypto futures trading, um, anything like that, because your friends say, oh, I made this much money off of Dogecoin or oh my gosh, I made this much off a of Tesla stock. Like, um, you, you got to see what's happening psychologically. You are being triggered into greed. Like, oh, I need to also get up on this train. Well, that's okay if you also want to get up on this train, but also bring yourself down. Like, you're noob, right? A lot of people rush into investing and don't know anything and just want to get rich really fast because they know the more you invest, the bigger your returns are going to be. Um, but they are just so new. They don't understand what they're doing. So you really have to slow yourself down and start small. Slow yourself down and start small because it's likely you don't know anything. So if you're just getting out with investing, I'd say just like do, you know, 10 bucks, 20 bucks, something like that. Unless you're, you have a lot of capital, I wouldn't really recommend um, putting down a lot of dollars when you're just starting getting out. Uh, if you have a lot of capital, you know, you could be riskier, five hundred, a thousand dollars. You know, but um, that's you're bound to lose it really if you're new. Uh, so go slow, go slow. So what you're also going to do besides patience, going slow and starting small, um, is homework. You you want to take your time and you want to learn what markets are about. You want to understand what investing is about. You want to understand what uh, those graphs that people show that are up, 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 down, do, 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 boom, stuff like that. You want to understand what those candles and what all these things kind of mean. And that takes time. And that's okay because it's not like these markets are going away. Markets come and markets go. Things change and there's always new opportunities to get involved in. So you, that that goes hand in hand with the patience thing. You slow down, um, but you want to make sure that you're not getting ahead of yourself too much there, and um, you're taking the time to learn the techniques, to learn uh, the phrases and vocabulary, so that uh, you don't just go into some chat room and ask a whole bunch of random strangers for a whole bunch of advice and listen to the first schmuck who tells you to buy this, right? You want to be able to uh, hear that schmuck and Google what he said to get and read and do some articles about it and take your time before you just go all in and get whatever the dude told you to get, right? Do your due diligence and look into what you're getting right now in crypto world like uh, you guys might have heard of shiba inu and dogecoin and they're exploding right now and all the other crypto just temporarily they're exploding in value right now and other cryptos are kind of like taking a back seat and it's interesting but um you can't let yourself get carried away with that you need to understand uh the ebbs and flows of the market or you will um you'll end up buying at the top, right? And like, because of all the hype and your friend said, oh, I, you should invest in Shiba Inu, why not throw some money in it? And next thing you do, you finally get around to doing it, but you don't know anything about the market and you didn't check, you can't you think it's just going up. And next thing you know, the whole thing just crashes. You lose, and if you don't lose if it's in crypto or stocks, if you don't sell, eventually that can continue to gain value again. But like, it's potential that you lose money that way. So you have to 
take the time to learn the markets, learn the terminology, learn kind of how to read support, resistance, all these, all these things. Another, probably just my final tip for this video is, um, it's actually how I trade. Um, now you might just want to get involved in investing and you don't know when to buy, right? And we're not going to talk about exactly when to buy um, or what to buy, but uh, well, we'll kind of talk about when to buy. And that's when the market is down, when it's red, when it's had a dip. It doesn't matter if this is the stock market, if this is cryptos, if this is whatever it is. If the market is down, if it had a little dip or a crash pullback, it's in a bear market, whatever the phrase terminology is, it's down, it's red. Those are usually the times you want to dollar cost average. And um, this is when you buy a certain amount of crypto at a certain time. And it is to keep yourself from buying, uh, sorry, not crypto, anything. Uh, it is to keep yourself from buying uh, too much of one thing at a certain price and it reduces your risk. Say if you bought Tesla stock at like $600, right? And you thought that was great. You, you bought $1,000 of it at $600. And then a month later it goes up to 700, but then the next month it goes down to like 600 or you know, like 400 or something. And you freak out and you sell. You Well, you lost $200. So what dollar cost averaging would be doing is you bought like $30 of Tesla at uh, $500, $30 of Tesla at $510, $30 of Tesla at $520, $30 of Tesla at $550, right? So you're just buying at increments, right? And specifically, specifically, this works better when you're buying when it dips down, not as it's going up, but like during dips. That's when you want to add to your dollar cost average collection. And it's called uh, averaging down. Um, and it's, it's a very uh, successful way to gain money, even in the stock market, in the crypto world, it's a successful way to. In the crypto world, it's important to have a take profit strategy because it's so volatile. Um, when Bitcoin and the other cryptos are done with their, their rally for the year, they can lose anywhere from 40 to 75% of their value in a, a couple days or weeks. So it's important to have some taking profit uh, strategies, which uh, I, I don't want to get into in this video, um, but yeah. So, because um, when that happens, if you're holding a sack and you didn't get to sell, uh, at least you know you have a different set of losses um, than if you bought everything at the top or everything at one certain level. And if it, it crashes and you're holding at that point. Well, what you can say is I also, I might be at a loss at these certain price points that I bought in, but all these other price points, I'm still at profit, right? So it kind of starts to average itself out. And in the long run, if that uh, market that you invested in is consistently going up, it's just going to increase the value of what you put in. Uh, yeah. So that is really the technique that uh, I prefer to do. Like if the market's down, like, five percent you know i'll throw in a couple bucks around here with crypto and if it's down like a whole like 15 percent so a, a big pullback day that's when i kind of bring out a bit more money and throw into crypto um on those days and then kind of like i said want to have a, a take profit strategy along the way and understand um the ebb and flow of the market going back into the second tip so uh patience take time and uh, start small, um, take the time to learn and teach yourself the market before getting in too hard and too fast. And then um, dollar cost averaging when you do start investing and dollar cost averaging specifically down. When the market's down, that's when you wanna buy because not only is it a good point to buy, but when the market's down, once it goes back up, you get that huge, that huge bit of gain added on to your um, investment almost instantly whereas like say this let's look at the stock market for example the stock market is a slow steady gain up but once it has a dip what happens is it has a quick jump up so if you catch that dip you within a couple days gain like a easy three to four percent gains which on the stock market is really it's really good but in the crypto universe that's like that's that's pennies right you can get 
immense gains in the crypto universe compared to the stocks, but the risk, right? Um, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed those tips. I'm going to have some more um, investing relating tips. I'm not a pro. I'm not a financial advisor, anything like that. Uh, I'm just someone who's been uh, dabbling in investing for you know over a handful of years, and I have a few things that I know to try and help protect newbies from making similar mistakes that I've made or I've seen other people make. So I hope you appreciate the video. Um, please like, comment, subscribe. Uh, tell me if you like this content. Um, yeah, that'd be cool to know. Uh, peace, guys.